Hi there. So I hope you've had a chance to look through the list of typical features of a fundamentalist organisation. Certainly, um, if I've taught you, it's in this booklet and it's a list by Kaplan. Other people might have looked at a list by Davis. It doesn't matter who the list is compiled by as long as it's recognised sociologically. So let's have a look at a couple of the key features. I think probably one of the most important ones is that really um, ancient scriptures that may have been written over 2000 years ago are interpreted very literally by fundamentalist organisations. There's no attempt to, to reinterpret them in a modern world. So things taken from the Bible, like an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, which is actually an extremely violent concept, um, clearly has been interpreted, interpreted in a more modern way by the vast majority of Christians. And I'm sure from every holy book, you could lift pieces from the scripture that really shouldn't be interpreted in, in an ancient way. Um, way in a modern setting. So there's one of the features, interpreting the scriptures literally, seeing them as infallible, absolutely faultless, no reinterpretation is needed. Feature number two that I think is really important is this idea that you have lost all tolerance for other viewpoints, all tolerance completely for other viewpoints. So, um, the majority of people I know that practice Islam or Christianity would of course believe that their version of, of accounts is the right one, but they would also accept that other viewpoints, be they secular, be they other religions, are just as important to other people and are very accepting of that. By the time you've got involved with a fundamentalist organisation, any of that tolerance has disappeared. You are right and they are wrong. And that burning feeling that you are so right and they're so wrong can of course lead to violence and even um, suicide attacks. The third feature that I would probably talk about is um, religions being um, fundamentalist organisations typically being very uh, patriarchal, very conservative in their views, very patriarchal. Um, the Taliban's a good example of that. If you look at their treatment of women in Afghanistan, it's just vile beyond belief. Um, women weren't allowed to leave the house, were abused for doing that. Um, so highly patriarchal. We also watched the video on his book Tahrir and um, the chap Shariz, Shariz Mayer, I think I'm pronouncing that right, um, who had been in that organisation subsequently left, thank goodness, said that he felt the need to take down all pictures of any women from his wall, um, wouldn't even mix with female family members at, at family weddings, etc. Okay. And the fourth feature I think is worth knowing about is that they tend to make use of modern media. And you can certainly see that. Um, so groups like ISIS are certainly using YouTube um, for their propaganda and also social media sites for recruitment to their group, which is why, of course, ISIS has managed to collect so many global members in a way it possibly wouldn't have been able to do pre-social media. OK, so they're the four features I'd look at. I'm going to come back in a minute and talk about why there has arguably been an increase in fundamentalist organisations. OK.